Officials from the Ministry of Health gathered at the Ministry of Health headquarters today to officially launch the World Breastfeeding Week, discussing the importance of breastfeeding for all infants. It is recorded that 87% of mothers in Uganda carry out exclusive breastfeeding of infants under six months of age, citing an improvement compared to the previous years. Let us, uh, let us all join hands in where, wherever we are to really support these mothers yeah. build the competence of our health workers and, 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 and see that breast milk is upheld, the gaps identified. The Assistant Commissioner in Charge of Nutrition at the Ministry of Health, Samali Namokose, reported that 82% of newborns are breastfed within the first hour of birth. Namokose emphasized that the importance of breastfeeding within the first hour after birth, stating that 11.6% of infant deaths are prevented as a result. Out of every 10 mothers, 8 of them put their babies to the breast within the first hour of delivery. Isn't that a, a very great achievement? So we want to sustain this effort. Mothers have been encouraged to exclusively breastfeed their children for the first six months and continue breastfeeding alongside other nutritious foods up to two years of age. It is also recommended for mothers living with HIV to breastfeed their children. The ministry recommends breastfeeding even for the HIV exposed infants. And we are saying that these babies who are born to HIV uh, infected mothers should breastfeed at least for 12 months of age. And of course, while the mother adheres to the antiviral therapy. But in case the baby is tested and it is positive, we are saying that this baby can continue breastfeeding up to two years and beyond because of the very many benefits that are associated with breastfeeding. Despite the improvement in exclusive breastfeeding, there are gaps that deter breastfeeding practices such as the existing milk substitutes, inadequate facilities for vulnerable babies, and lack of breastfeeding spaces for working mothers. I want also to mention that uh, uh, working with the Ministry of Gender, we have developed regulations on breastfeeding and care facilities uh, to ensure that those mothers, the working mothers, are supported in their working environment. The government is dedicated to overseeing the regulation of breast milk substitutes, providing support for working mothers in their work environments, and promoting awareness among new mothers regarding the importance of breastfeeding. The new mothers are going to be encouraged. First of all, we need to have a way of letting the older women teach the younger ones, you know, how to nurture their children, okay, and how to raise their families. The ministry is also working on breast milk banks around medical facilities across the country to ensure that infants without mothers and premature infants are able to receive nutritional breast milk so as to improve their nutrition. We are harvesting and collecting the milk and the mothers voluntarily donate the milk and there are ways to express the milk. All we need is to teach them how to hygienically collect it and preserve it to make sure it's clean and we don't lose it. The World Breastfeeding Week is an annual celebration which is held every year from the 1st to 7th August in more than 120 countries and Uganda's aim for commemorating this day is to increase the breastfeeding rates in the country. Hope Nyongereza, Church of Uganda Family TV, News at 8.